Hey guys, how are you doing out there? Uh, Kevin Rocket here, and right now I'm going to be doing a review on Avast 6 Beta. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, I guess it was just released. I'll take a look and see what's new in it and stuff like that. So. Give me one second. I know I have it in here somewhere from a vast. There it is. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what's new is. Oh, wait a second. Let me just copy this link and I'll read to you what's new in this virtual machine. Probably should have saved that. Okay, so what's new? Um, well, we got some new things in here. Um, what's new? Auto sandbox. Suspicious, suspicious programs will be optionally run sandboxed. A vast web rep browser plugin for website reputation rating. Um, Script shield now even in free AV, site blocking now even free AV, safe zone, a special virtualized area for sensitive transactions. Um, secure online banking paid products only. Restore fac uh, factory settings command. <coughs> Automatic actions and boot time scan. New compression method and the installer taking about set up packages about 20% smaller script uh, script shield now functional with IE 8 and 9 protected mode sidebar gadget um, improved ability or stability and compatibility of the behavior shield and improvements to the Avast sandbox now some of the known issues so far are help and help files are not updated yet localization incomplete yet um, safe zones Safe zone not yet compatible or accessible. Pro AV and internet security only. Web rep only available for IE and Firefox. Chrome is coming soon. And there's two firewall um, issues which are pre um, per application packet roles not accessible yet. And need to warrant conflict not yet resolved. So we got 25 more seconds. I'll just wait for this. Okay, <clears throat> so the installer is 55.1 megabytes. Um, I don't actually see a difference from before because last time I checked it was like the same thing. Okay. So when we start the installer, as you can see, it speeds through. It's still going a little slow. So next, I'm not going to participate. Actually, I'll just do that because it's custom. I do not want Google Chrome. I take it the interface is like exactly the same. It's just a little bit different because they added a few things. So we'll see here in a second. I'm only testing the free edition right now because as I can see there's a few problems with uh, the internet security which is like different things with the firewall and sandbox so I'll just wait till the final release or till they fix those known issues. So I'll just pause this till I get the main interface up so I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So I just click finish. Welcome to Avast. It says welcome to Avast. If I open it up, a little different. Um, I can tell. It's 
grip shield, additional protection, auto sandbox. Hmm, I wonder if this is actually in the. A vast virus database has been updated. The auto sandbox feature allows you to. I wonder if this is actually um, for the free edition, so I'm going to reboot and I'll take a look whenever I get back. Okay, so here we are booting back up. <coughs> um, so let's see this. So yeah, I guess you get an auto sandbox with a free edition now. That's pretty cool. Why does this stupid virtual machine always crash? This is getting on my nerves now. I'm starting to think that these stupid... Um, I gotta go in here and <sighs> this is getting on my nerves. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I guess it's got an auto sandbox web reputation. It's installed and site blocking. Enable site. Yeah, I'm just going to enable that because. Okay, so. As you can see up here, when we first start up the browser, here it is. This little thing over here. I don't know why it's not opening, but it'll have like a site rating and everything that you can rate the site if you like it or whatever. Doesn't look like anything happened. Threat has been detected. Malicious URL blocked. Trojan. Obviously, the sandbox isn't that good because it did not run this in the sandbox. Threat. Threat has been detected. Let's see what this is. This is the first one. N1. I don't even know what this is. But it's a rootkit block, so. Must have been that one file in there because I don't see it. As you can see, all these stupid AV things are on here and they're not going to work. Try this one. Is 
Looks like that one's dead. That one must have been blocked because it's not letting me download it. Malicious URL the block. has been detected. Has been detected. That one got through. Threat has been detected. So it blocked malware, then it blocked that malicious URL. So yeah, block this um, flash plate right here. Okay, that's the flash player again. Threat. Okay, there's something wrong here because it's lagging really bad. Has been detected. Maybe it was cleaning it there. Malicious URL. Threat has been detected. Most of these are getting caught, like none got through so far. Threat has been detected. Let's get some of these links. Seems like it's lagging every time it cleans or something. Threat has been detected. Okay, so that looks like that's enough for now. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna run a full scan. Oh wait a second. Turn on potentially unwanted programs and I'm going to start. So I'll be back in a few minutes whenever this finishes. Wow, very surprising results from Avast. It found nine infected things and that's like excellent. As you can see, um, looks like one temp file and a few others, so. I'm going to move all to chest because that's what it's telling me to do. The system can what? So maybe this might be deleted, so. To finish the clean up, I don't want to schedule a boot time scan, so. I'm also going to run a sea cleaner right now. See, there's a program installed right here, too. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so I'm going to run a scan with Hitman Pro. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are back with this scan, and it found one, two, three root kits, two root square, and a trojan. So, um, yeah, that's actually surprising because I don't see how I can find those whenever Avast didn't 
missed anything, but I guess that's how it is. Unstore malware bytes, install malware bytes. And uh, some people might ask me which um, antivirus software I use, and it's kind of hard to tell because basically I switch like almost every week or day, sometimes three days. It just depends which one I feel like using. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to run a full scan with this. And I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back <clears throat> from the malware byte scan. And it found 24 things. Adware, Trojan. This is actually very surprising because I've asked caught most of it, but it's still saying that it's not all detected, so. I'm actually not going to run a scan with Norton Power Eraser because I don't have any time left. I have to go do some things with my family, so uh, I guess that's it. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and also my uh, partner, please uh, rate his channel and subscribe to him. Also, he's if you go to my channel, check them out. He should be first on the list. Um, so yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll get you guys later.